Let's make history. Marine Park got its name because of the aquatic wildlife in Gerritsen Creek, which lets out into the Atlantic Ocean. So it became a major fishing ground for Native Americans prior to the 1600s. In the late 1600s, there was a, a prominent family from Netherlands named the Voorhees, and one of them sold the land where I stand, which would become Marine Park, uh, to Johannes Lott, spelled L-O-T-T. -T. It's one of the oldest structures in Brooklyn. It's the house that behind me it still stands. And uh, his grandson, Hendrix I. Lott, who the house is technically named after, um, by that time, Lots grew into a prominent family in the early 1900s, two philanthropists got together and they didn't want to see this area, which was initially a marshland, they didn't want to see it get urbanized because during this period, the early 1900s, late 1800s, urbanization was spreading like wildfire. So the land was donated to the city of New York under the conditions that a park would be built there and it would be preserved. And of course, the city dragged its feet with it as it usually does, but finally, Marine Park was finished. In 1937, it was named, and the park has ball fields, it has golf courses, and the Lot family had this, had this area for many, many years, all the way, the last Lot was Ella Sudam, who Sudam Street is named after in Bushwick, uh, she died in 1989. It was discovered that there were slave quarters in the house. They even found found all these spiritual, uh, like religious relics and supplies uh, that seemed to be most likely from originating from West Africa. The Lots were the biggest slave owners in the region. However, they did um, uh, become a part of the abolitionist movement. It was said that this very house behind me was a stop on the Underground Railroad. And when slaves were freed in New York in 1827, the Lot family freed all their slaves and then hired them back as uh, actual workers. Uh, today, this neighborhood is mostly Irish, American, Italian, American, Greeks, and Jewish Americans. Another interesting thing about uh, the Marine Park neighborhood is that a lot of the major uh, avenues and streets in Brooklyn all converge in this neighborhood. Nostrand Avenue ends here, Utica Avenue ends here, Flatbush Avenue um, doesn't end here, it actually goes out into, uh, it goes further out into the water and becomes Marine Parkway Bridge, which connects Brooklyn to uh, Far Rockaway, I believe. And another fun fact or interesting fact is that Flatbush Avenue at the other end of Brooklyn actually becomes the Manhattan Bridge.